So let us carry on about the in Matthew 5. Mati apu na hiara lala. Or whom you said Matthew Hebrew 5. Mati apu lala. Sa hiwa ho na gudara gudana lak. So na hara hunda hiara kuna lhiana hundara. It's about the murder, right? This is a crayon on to the story of the soul and light. Indeed, you shall not murder or commit any adultery. Because anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. Is you sit at the judgment which is happening now. You've been murdering the Messiah you have asked long time ago. And you are now subject to judgment. But uh, if you are angry to your brother or sister, you are subject to judgment as well by the hierarchies. Who is the hierarchies? The one whom you said you know but you do not. The Adona, the Lord of the earth. And anyone who says to his brother, Arahunda, C-R-A-P, because that is the meaning of R-A-C-K. R-A-C-K. R-A-C-A. What this means is C-R-A-P. Is answerable to whom you said you know but you don't. Yeshua. Because R-A-C-A is a C-R-A-P or C-R-O-P that we are planting into the womb of to be the fruit. We plant seeds. And it is father that are planting to it. And then you call it C-R-E-P. Which is means R in your Bible it says R-A-C-A. It's answerable to the highest court. Who is the highest court? Father. Through Adonai. He will judge you. And anyone who says you F-O-O-L, you are in a danger of water, flood, the furnace of fire. It says your entire thing that's ara uh, f i r e o f h e l l. It's a really, really worst thing. It's really, really your Bible. It's just really, really blasphemous. So blasphemy. It's been uh, because in in the true Akashic book of records. It is too far translation. So far, translation to the original mother tongue, or whom you call speaking in tongues. It says, therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there, remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Meaning to say, do not offer, do not go in front of the Father while you have burden in thy heart. When your heart is burdened, do not go to the Father because the altar is where the Father is. You are offering something with a heavy heart is 
a worse scenario you can be in as the father do not like it you have to settle and be re and, uh, reconciled with your brothers and sister first because this is how my father uh, this is how my father does to us this is how he punished us You think you're the only one who had a family, right? And God does not have any? That is what you're thinking. That's why we are called God the Father, Father. Call Him Dad. He does not like you to be around with a heavy heart. This is why Yeshua gave me his heart. Yes, he did give me his heart. Because that is the will of the Father. Okay? He, he, he is the maker. Be reconciled to them, to your brothers and sisters, or anyone you have against with in your heart. Before you offer something, before you offer your gift into the altar of the Father, or into the tab, into my ado na isukara hundalara, because Father do not like it when your heart is heavy. He does not like anyone crying. He does not like any any weakness. That is the father. He don't like any drama. Let's say. But he does punish. He does too punish children. Children. He punish. He punishes us when we do something. We fight one another, but uh, there is no, there is no upset in our hearts. We do not leave anything in our hearts because we do that to energize and heat the sola. Then, when you cleanse the heart first, that's where it says, before you go to the Father, cleanse your heart. Father is where His altar. Adonai. God is not Adonai is God. Father is our Father. Holy Spirit is my Holy Spirit. My Holy Spirit who contend in the body of Christ because my Adonai desires it. He desires my it because it was the will of the Father. So I carried the cross into Calvary. Calvary is heaven on earth. That is the Calvary. Heaven on earth. Like he said, like the Father said, He do not send His words to the world, and it will not come back empty. It always get what it desires, because Adonai makes it happen. That is where you are confused because you think God is there's only one God. There it is indeed one God, but you don't know which one. Which is? Because there is God the Father, there is God the Son, there is God. The Son is S U N. Who carry out the will of the Father? Through Yeshua, who commands her. 
Na hiyo sang kuda ni na kuda lari na na. Settle your matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to court. Like uh, before you get the, uh, it's a uh, meaning about like. Maru sang kuda ramo na lari na kuda na. Repent. It's repentance. You have to repent before he comes. Like what I am doing now. I'm taking you to court. To settle your matters quickly with me as an adversary of God, you must repent. Repent. As he, Yeshua said, when I was on Jesus, Jesus, I said, that the world is mine and everything in it because that is the reward my father have given me after I have carried the cross into the Calvary and died for him. Who's for him? Yeshua. The true. The true. Truth. Because he got the body of Christ. Like I said, do it while you are still, while while he is still on the way. Like I said in the other video, he is on the way. Like yesterday, he showed me they are just put, they are putting the chandelier. Yesterday, he's showing me the chandelier, the look of the chandelier, sun chandelier, and then uh, what steps they are on now, as they are preparing. Going down and down and down and down on, on the way. They are still on the way. Cleanse thy heart. As it says, cleanse thy heart before he comes. Or I myself will take the judgment. A mark. That's what it means, a mark. Because I... His Holy Spirit will be the one judging you on earth. That it was you's doing now. That is Adonica is doing now. The prison is talking about there is the lava. Lava it shall be your prison where you will scream all day, all night, all day long. Until you are burnt just like what you did to Al Stake. She was screaming in pain. Being burned on fire in her prison. Why prison? Because her hands was roped tight and she was handcuffed into the root into the pool into the tree that is why you be, um, uh, you will be thrown into the, your prison your own prison depending what is your son hai ko rahad na hai unala and you will not get out until you you pay the last penny because you will pay and pay and pay and pay and pay and pay and pay. This is also the meaning of uh, your birth. You think you go to heaven right away, but you don't. Because you haven't done any work of the Father. If he say that you are useless and not worthy, he will just command his angels to take you out. Get rid and then you will be put in the abyss with them to work. To work. That is the truth in this world. Your spirit must, if, uh, if uh, God says that, oh, you are uh, through the will of the Father, 